Thank you. International Relief Foundation, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Esteemed representatives, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hamza Mohammed from International Relief Foundation representing the Somali Ravanese and Banadiri minorities. I'm honored to stand before you today. In Somalia, various minority groups face significant challenges, including Bantu, Bravanese, Banadiri, Bajuni, Ele, Galgala, Tumal, Yivir, and Gaboy. They live in conditions of poverty with no access to humanitarian aid, unlike other clans. Enduring discrimination and exclusion, social segregation, economic deprivation, and political manipulation systematically exclude them from the government positions, even those in power often lack the ability to advocate for their communities. Despite facing discrimination and economic hardship, all minority groups contribute significantly to Somalia's socioeconomy. However, in 2000, during the interim government established in Arta of Djibouti, a 4.5 system was implemented further marginalizing these groups. They were assigned to status of 0.5, leading to extreme discrimination. Tragically, incidents like a banning Bantu family occurred without accountability. Ongoing animosity between minority groups and dominant clans in, is evident. Recently, Abu Bakr Mohammed Sheikh Nurain, well known as Abarimo from Banadiri ethnic minority, was shot and murdered by the government tax officials for 25 cents while sitting outside his store in Hamarwenes Bazaar district in Mogadishu in January 2023. Such acts of violence are sadly commonplace. Today, I present key recommendations for your considerations to abolish the oppressive 4.5 client-based system and promote justice through an inclusive democratic governance system. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.